Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Emerson thermostat. Model number is 1F80-0261. This thermostat is 5-1-1 day programmable, which means you can set up one schedule for Monday to Friday and then another for Saturday and another one for Sunday. So first I'm going to talk about the screen here. So the bigger number here is the room temperature. Then the smaller number here is a desired temperature set, which can be set by this. We will talk about this in a minute. Then this one here is a time. At the bottom here is a battery sign and here is the day. So now first I will talk about time. So once you press this button, you will see a number of hour that you can change. So we'll go back, put it to six. Then for the minute, once you press it again, you can change the minutes. Then press it again and then you can change the day. So I will put it back to Saturday. And then once you are done, you're confirmed with whole time, just press this button and it will go back to the original screen. Now the second button here is system. So now it says cool off or heat. So if you want to set it to the heating system, then you need to put it to the words the right. Then if you want to put it to off, for example, in summers, then you can put it to off. Then if you have air conditioning system, then you can put to cool. I will put back to the heating system. Now the second button here is fan, which is on and auto. So right now is it at auto, which means whenever furnace needs to run, the fan will automatically run. You can use the mode on in summers. For example, if you don't have air conditioning system, but your house temperature is very high and you just want to ventilate it quickly, then put it to on and the fan will run until you put it back to auto mode. And it won't cool down your house much, but few degrees. So something is better than nothing. Then I will talk about these two buttons in a minute, but first I will explain about these two buttons here. So the upper arrow, if you see the number here, the temperature can be raised up or you can press the bottom arrow and put it down. Thermostat, you have two different options. So one is hold, which means you can set it to a manual desired number. For example, I will just put it to 21 degrees and then I will press a button hold. Now, if you see, there is a tiny holes written on the top, which means unless you change it again to any other number, you can go up or down and then press hold again, then it will stay as it is. The second option is run. So now by run, it means that it will be running the thermostat according to your 511 day program. To set that program system, you need to press this button. If you press this, now you can see at the top, it shows Monday to Friday, which is first five days of your week. The time, 6 a.m. And then you can set up your desired temperature, which is set to 21. Once you press it again, then it will take you to the second time of the day, which is 8 a.m. For example, if you work from 8 to 5, and then at 8 a.m. you're leaving your house. So now the temperature is set to 16 so that you don't waste energy and your furnace is not running whole day because you're not even home. So you can set it to a, a number of your choice. Then when you press it third time, it comes to 5 p.m. For example, you come back from your work at 5.30. So at 5 p.m., you can set it back to 21 so that by the time you're home by 5.30, the temperature of the house will be back to your normal temperature. Then press it four time, then it's 10 p.m. Now that means it's almost sleep time so you can set up to do your desired sleeping time. So I like to sleep at 20 degrees, so I'll just put it to 20. Then once you press it again, now you will be seeing Saturday. Again, it will be 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 5 p.m., and then 10 p.m. Then once you press it again, now you will be taken to Sunday, 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 5 p.m., and 10 p.m. So once this is all done, you can press the run and hold button. It will take you to original screen. 
Now if you want to run a program, just press this button. Now it will show you a little tiny word set here, which means your programmer that you already set will be working through that. So it's your choice if you want to run it to the manual or the programming. So if you want to put a hold on it, then press it again and then it will be hold. This model also have uh, batteries on the top here, so you can just move it, open this light, and this you will see the batteries. So batteries are not necessary, but that's a second source of power for the thermostat, but it all depends on you. Now we will talk about some extra configuration uh, menu settings. So to use them, first of all, you have to put the system to off mode and then press the upper and lower arrow together so now it will bring you to different settings those are in the configuration menu so to go forward with the setting options you have to press the run and hold button to go back you have to press the time button to go to main menu you have to press the program button so the first setting it says SS or HP this means, so if you use SS mode, that, that's a single stage mode. Your, when your furnace or your AC is running, it will be using the main system for the heating or cooling. If you put it to HP mode, that is a heat pump mode in which uh, if you have an external source of heating, it can be a ground heating pump or it can be a hot water tank, then it will be using that option. The second setting is CS. It's a cool saving setting. If you put it to on, your thermostat will make automatic adjust adjustments depending on uh, the temperature you set. So every 20 to 30 minutes, it will be making a little bit of adjustments to the thermostat to save some energy. The third option is E. It's an energy management recovery system. So if you set your uh, thermostat to the program option, which is 511 day program, as we spoke about it before. So for example, if you set a uh, 21 degree temperature for 5 p.m. when you're returning home from work, then usually if the, the settings are normal, then the thermostat will run at 5 p.m. to reach the temperature 21. But if you put it to on, what it does is it runs a little bit earlier, for example, five to 10 minutes earlier. And by the time it's 5 p.m., it will reach 21 degrees. The next setting is cycle rate selection setting. So there are two options for this. Either you can use it for your cooling setting or your heating setting. So the standard cycle rate for heating is set to medium, but you can raise it to fast or slow. So I'll put it back to medium. Then the second is cycle rate setting for your cooling system. So it's by default set to the fast. You can change it to uh, slow or fast. So I'll put it back to fast. The next setting is compressor lockout. So what the system does is when there is a, a compressor cycling running, so it automatically gives your, uh, your compressor a little bit of break time so that your compressor doesn't break down. The modern systems, the modern compressors, they have this uh, this setting already inbuilt in them, but this setting can be used if your furnace is uh, pretty old, but you need to check your manufacturer uh, details for that setting. Now the next is L, which is a backlight for the screen. So if, we, if you put it to on, the backlight will stay on all the time. If you put it to off, it will stay on for 30 seconds and then turn off. The next setting is display adjustment, uh, temperature display adjustment setting. In this one, what happens is you can make a little bit of changes. Uh, I, it's, it's four degrees up and down. For example, if your thermostat is placed in such a place that gets warmed very earlier or it stays cool, depend, uh, other than the uh, other areas of your house. For example, if your thermostat is in, in a corner and your main floor gets heated up, quickly but your thermostat still shows a lower temperature so you can make these adjustments so your thermostat runs accordingly then the next setting is you can change the display uh, temperature to either celsius or you can do a fahrenheit then the 
The last option is change filter setting. So first you can turn it on or off. If you put it to on, then you need to put number of hours. So for example, if the, the by default it's set to 200 hours. So by uh, calculations, the approximately this counts for 30 days because your furnace is not running like whole day. So 200 hours, every 200 hours, it will give you a sign on the display to change filter. But of course you can change this to uh, higher up to 1975 minutes or you can go to 25 minutes. So it has to be in increment of 25 hours. So I will put it back to 200 and now as we are done with the settings, I will put a program and go to the main menu. Thank you for watching. If you like the video and it helps in any way, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.